Okay, Dave Parrish back with another video. Hopefully the sound quality is better on this one. I apologize about that last one. Uh, I'm in a quieter place, but there's some dogs and there's some birds. So let's go for it. Today's topic, um, contacts versus users. Uh, you should handle these differently. There's a couple different scenarios. In contacts versus user, what I'm really talking about is when you have a person in your app. It's an individual. They got a name. They got an email address. Uh, you need to consider a few things and how they're going to be handled up in your data structure. And it's really important. Uh, this won't be a long one, but I'm going to throw a knowledge bomb on you, if you will, uh, that you need to follow. And I'll be right back with that. Okay, here's a lowdown of contacts versus users, or more broadly, when you have an individual a person in your app, how you should handle them. I'll give you a couple examples. Here's, uh, this is one of Max uh, demo deals. But companies, and each company could have a contact. That's well and good. Here's companies, here's contacts. One company can have many contacts. So you could do a view, add go to a company and then see all the contacts. That can be very useful. Um, here's my little knowledge bomb. If you ever, this is important, think that one of these contacts could end up being someone who logs in, do not put them up here. Create them as a user, and you're going to add them as a, you call them contacts, you can add them as a, a record in here, you're not going to create credentials for them, but when the time comes, if they're going to be a user to log in and see stuff, you can deal with how the connections work later, uh, meaning this user is connected to this company or whatever. Put them down here first, and I'm going to give you an example of that. Here's another one. This is one I'm doing right now. It's a swimming school, <laughs> and this app manages different classes they offer, instructor, uh, scheduling of the classes, uh, students and the students, uh, it's specifically an instance of that student taking a class because they can take uh, more than one class over time. Um, <clears throat> when we started this off, he said, no, no, we're, the parents aren't going to log in. Um, maybe down the road they will, but we're not going to have them. Well, as soon as he said that, I put parents down here. Uh, and we'll see some records. You'll see they don't have passwords um, because right now they're not logging in. But eventually, I know they're going to want this. Hey, let's let the parents log in. Uh, and they can see what activities the students, their kids are doing. Uh, we score them. We have all kinds of information. Uh, and eventually, we're going to build this out where the parents can actually select the class and pay for the class right through all the next thing. Right now, we're handing off the data from another app to this that they've already been using. So here's my overall point. The only reason that I'm doing this video today, if you ever think that a person would log in, and it doesn't have to be, maybe you're going to select certain contacts that a company will log in. But if any of that group will eventually have login credentials, log in, see stuff related to them, make them as a user from the get-go, you don't need to give them credentials. You can deal with all that later. Um, that's my point. That's all I got today. Thank you. Take care.